What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Carl's Bait and Tackle fishing video. I'm Matt from SB Fishing TV and today we're going to try completing our first Elite Box Slam. I'm out on the lake, the bite's been a little bit slow but I've got some awesome baits in here I can't wait to show you. And we're going to try to catch fish on every single one of them. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see what we have in the box. It's time for the unboxing. First up, we have the Big Bite Baits Swim and Jerk Minnow. This should work perfectly out here. I'm probably gonna throw this on a drop shot and then just a regular jig head throw this around. There's a bunch of fish suspended out here today and they are definitely eating finesse style baits. So that one's really good. That's gonna go along really well with the Scam Shad from Hoax Fish. Check this out. Look how crazy that thing looks. I don't even know what to call it. A little bit big, but I think we can make it work. I don't know if I'm supposed to, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I think I might throw this on a Texas rig or some sort of swimming jig head. We got the Rage Tail Twin Tail Menace. So it's just a Twin Tail Grub, again. This is a little bit more on the finesse side. I think this should work really well today. The water we're fishing is really clear, so I mean, when I say really clear, I mean six to eight feet. So the finesse baits have definitely been shining a little bit better than the bigger stuff today, but we'll probably throw this around on the rear loader swing jig from Hard Hat Jigs and just drag this thing around. Three baits left. We have the VNM J Bug, and this is a really interesting creature style bait. Might be able to throw this on a Carolina rig or Texas rig. It's a little dark, and I feel like the fish today have really been keying in on more natural colors. The bite's been pretty tough with anything that's dark like this, black, June bug, um, but maybe we can make this work. Now we have two hard baits. We have the Live Target Bait Ball, which is a walk the dog style bait. Definitely gonna throw this around some of the grass that we have. And then once the lower light conditions start coming later on this evening, definitely pick that thing up and I know we're gonna catch some fish on that. Last but not least, we have the dual hardcore crankbaits. This is a one plus is what they call it. So it dives down to about three and a half feet. This should be able to catch us some fish around some of this scattered grass, just ripping it through. But let's get these baits rigged up. Let's see if we can't catch some fish today and complete a slam. Our first Elite Box Slam. Let's go. All right, my friends, we're gonna start the slam off with the drop shot. This is the Big Bite Baits Swim and Jerk Minnow. I'm gonna throw this along some grass edges. Also, something I figured I'd mention, I'm gonna switch baits every 10 minutes to try to knock these out as quickly as possible. We'll eliminate the baits as we catch fish. So, 3.49, 10 minutes drop shot, let's go. Probably throw this swim and jerk minnow on the drop shot for a little bit. If I don't get bit, probably just throw it on a regular jig head. This fish is suspended. I know there's a ton of fish suspended out here right now. All right, one more cast with the drop shot, and then we're gonna switch it up. Probably go flip around this grass mat here with the twin tail menace. On the Texas rig, Let's see if we can't pull one off. All right, first round with the drop shot. No connect, had a couple bites though. Picked up the Twin Tail Menace, I have it on a Texas rig with a half ounce weight. We're gonna flip around some of this grass and see if there's anything a little bit shallower. I'm fishing this Texas rig really, really fast. I'm really just looking for a reaction strike. Looking for that initial bite on the fall. Oh, there we go. Oh, this fish is fighting so hard. Come here, buddy. All right, fish number one. All right, guys, that's fish number one. Healthy little two pounder. Caught it on the twin tail menace. And that knocks off one bait for us. Solid. Here we go. Good looking fish, sitting right up in the grass. Thumped it. See you, buddy. All right, one bait down, six to go. So I just caught that fish on the twin tail menace with the Texas rig. I'm gonna try to kind of duplicate that with the J-Bug on the rear loader swing head jig. We'll see, we're gonna flip some of this grass. Usually don't wanna flip grass with a football head jig, but we'll make it work. 
So something kind of interesting about the swing head jig and that I didn't really know until recently and obviously you can fish these however you want and I've caught plenty of fish just dragging them around but they were designed to be fished like a crankbait so you're supposed to cast it out and let it sink to the bottom and then slow retrieve it and it bounces along all the rocks and any sort of wood very good at not getting stuck and it triggers a lot of bites from fish that just won't eat it sitting there they want something kind of going by their face and this is stirring up all the mud and it's bouncing off rocks and wood on the bottom. Definitely give that a shot next time you're throwing a swing jig like that. Just cast it out and reel it back in. Make sure it keeps bottom contact though. You really want it banging into everything down on the bottom. All right, time's up. I am gonna go with the scam shad. Try to catch some of these suspended fish with this thing. It looks goofy, but I have a feeling it's gonna work. So as far as fishing the scam shad goes, I have it on the scrounger head and I'm counting it down to about eight, 10 feet. And then I'm just reeling it straight back to the boat, giving it, you know, some erratic action here and there, popping the rod, letting it pause, letting it fall, slow rolling it, killing it. Just trying to get them to react to something. Oh God, right at the boat. That is crazy. Whatever that was, followed it up all the way and it decided to eat it right at the boat when I paused it. That's hilarious. Scam Shad got bit. But it's time to switch. We're gonna go back to the drop shot with the jerk minnow. Let's see if we can make it happen here. Oh. There we go. Got anybody following? Oh. Well, okay, there we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Fish number two. Jerk minnow. Drop shot. And we are 32 minutes in. See you, buddy. All right, so we've got two baits out of the way. Picked up the hardcore crank one plus. We're gonna throw it around some of this grass. Hope there's a shallow fish around. This thing has some serious wobble to it. This should work. Time's up for the crank. This thing has an awesome action to it. I mean, super wide wobble. You can also use this as like a wake bait. You keep your rod tip up, keeps it on the surface, which I'm probably gonna have to do on the next go around. Oh, there we go little guy oh wait he just grew a little bit oh god right in the grass too oh yeah <laughs> fish number three on the scam shad cool now that we've knocked out the scam shad we've got to do the crankbait the rear loader swinging jig the j-bug and the live target bait ball. These are probably gonna be the harder ones to catch them on, but we'll see what we can do. All right, we're gonna pick up the J-Bug and throw this around. 10 minutes on the clock, let's go. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, that's a twofer. <laughs> it's the swinging jig with the J-Bug, fish number four, and that's bait number four and five. Two left. 
the two hardest, the crankbait and the top water. Actually, I don't think the top water is going to be too hard. Uh, we just might have to wait a little bit for the sun to go down. Let's try the bait ball out for a little, now that we tied it on. One really good thing about this bait is that it's clear. So in this clean water, they might come up and crush it. Got him. <laughs> Little guy, but we'll take him. Boom. All right, here we go. Absolute freaking dink. But he smoked the bait ball. Really shallow, in the grass. I mean, he's probably 10 inches. But uh, that's another one towards the slam. We got one bait left. The crankbait. All right, guys, well, we're an hour and a half in. Caught a fish on six out of these seven baits. And last up, we've got to catch one on the dual hardcore crank. I think it'll happen. Oh, oh, God, come on. Just had one eat it. This thing has really, really sharp hooks on it, too. I'm surprised I didn't. Oh, there it goes. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Slam complete. Slam is done. Yeah, these hooks are super, super sharp. Another little one. But that's that. Alright my friends, this fish completes the slam for us. We caught a fish on every single one of the baits in the box in just under an hour and 45 minutes. There we go. It's a dink, but it completed the slam. I think I'm gonna fish a little bit longer and see if we can get a big one. Maybe double slam. Who knows? All right, first fish of the double slam. That knocks out the twin tail menace. Nice little fish, chunky guy. Hammered it. Just flipping the grass edge there. I moved up a little bit shallower now, fishing a bank that's in like eight, nine feet, as opposed to 15 to 18. Come here, buddy. That's a good one, not bad. Oop. Oh, get in, get in. Sweet. Second bait of the second slam. The little jerk minnow. It's an eighth ounce ball head jig. All right, we got a few more. We probably have 30 minutes, 40 minutes left to fish. Good fish though. Peace out. Pick up the swinging jig with the J bug. First cast. Oh yeah. That's a decent little fish. Ooh. It's funny. Third fish and fourth bait, or since this is a double bait, the J bug and the swinging jig. Here we go. Very first cast with this thing too. Take it. There's a fish. Little guy. Crankbait. Dink, dink. Oh, he's in. Here we go. That leaves us with two. I think the fish are getting smaller. Well, this might be the end of the line for us, guys. I gotta head back to the ramp, and I gotta go through that. It's only about six inches of water. There's a couple spots I can drop the trolling motor and fish on the way back, but we may not be able to complete the double slam tonight.
Oh, here he comes. Come on. Oh my god, what is wrong with that fish? He keeps coming off of that bank so fast. We're gonna move up a little bit. Oh, here he comes. Got him. <laughs> oh, all the way at the end of the cast, too. <laughs> so cool to watch him come from all the way across the freaking creek. Come here, buddy. Awesome. Little, little fish, too. Not big at all. Well, we couldn't complete the double slam. We were one bait away. Really fun day. Caught a bunch of fish. I hope you guys learned a little bit and you can take your mystery tackle boxes out and go do some slams just like this. It's so much fun. It's probably one of my favorite things about mystery tackle boxes. I like to go out and try slams and what it does, in my opinion, is it really tests you as an angler. Like taking all these baits, some of which you may never buy, it puts you to the test. So you go out, try to catch those fish, and have a good time. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on Carl's YouTube channel. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Oh,